Alrighty, let's check this out. So, so at this point, I still feel like it needs a little bit of a camera correction because we're getting so close to this edge here for no reason. Like I want to follow this, and it's cool with the with the uh, the clouds. It's all good stuff as you come up here. Just a couple of things on a technical point here. There's still something where it feels like the root goes up and it takes too much of tail with it. Just doing this section and it would drag a bit more and then suddenly we're kind of staying stuck in this area. And then it suddenly goes up, you can see from here to here, as opposed to dragging. So there's little technical issues and technical like in terms of just spacing, spacing stuff. But I would still kind of pan with it a bit more and then you can recorrect into something here where you can pan back. It just feels weirdly, really misplaced there, that camera. Then here, you start with this really nice path. And then here, it feels like you're flattening, like you will be, the dragon will be all the way down here at this point if you follow that nice curvature. So watch out for that part right whoop, right there. Feels a bit weird. Then here is a sudden acceleration that comes kind of out of nowhere because it's too late. It would happen here because the wings come down. So this is a bit late there. Then same thing camera-wise. Okay, sorry, camera-wise, but it feels like because you don't want to move the camera to the right, you don't want to pan, you're kind of stunting, stunting that path there. It's kind of doing this instead of well you have to follow and do that so i would just pan a bit more to the right and then give this dragon enough room to do all of this that's all cool those here right when you get into this it kind of dies a bit and it still has a slight feeling of in a front view that the wings are like this it's a horrible drawing just cut down versus just kind of being out with the tips tips up so it was maybe like this if you can rotate this out, just give this a, a straighter, just a nicer, flatter feel. And it might be like this, but anything just visually kind of pushed out a bit more. So the top front guy here, he's cool. It just feels like when this happens, you would feel and hear like the wind and him yelling and everything. So to me, I would bring up the shoulders a bit more and do a little bit of a like a cringing, kind of afraid type of moment there. Wow, like there, like you have a bit of a roll, but overall a roll in his back, I mean, but it just feels a bit smooth and spliny. Just pushing that a bit more would be cool. And then here, watch out. That is a weird, sudden body turn that I would delay and slow down a lot and really lead the whole thing with a hair rotation in Y. And then the weird thing is that once you're done, oh, hold on, there you go. So now it looks up and follows, and it feels weird where it, like, it feels like that's where the guy looks and doesn't follow this character down or this dragon over. So it's a bit of a weird thing. And then just visually, you got that right there where that nose is. A, weird, a bit of a weird tangent there. So I mean, you could move this over or move him over, just kind of change with the silhouette so it doesn't hit there. The other guy lifting. Uh, watch out if you do put in this in here. This will roll more. There's a lot of sliding without a roll. So make sure it's stuff, simple stuff like that also works. Almost feels shadow wise like it's hovering. And then this guy. I still feel overall that we would have to slow this down. It's so fast that when he hits the, <clears throat> the human, to me it feels like, well. Hey, it's also very, very flat and twins. It feels a bit of a weird, like almost Olympic diver type of thing. Or Rocket Man. So A pose wise, I would go with you know, one neck would be like this, the other one will be whatever, one arm up here, one arm like ah despite the drag, just something a bit more dynamic. But given the speed, it feels like you would have the body here and then blah 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 and then the body with the legs here. It would just get ripped apart. It just feels way too fast. So artificially slowing the whole thing down, I think would be a good idea. Then 
It was almost a bit flat. I was almost take this guy and tilt him over, rotate him over a bit more. This is also a right there a sudden acceleration. This way that's a bit fast with all the flaps. It feels like they would go more up and down, and you have a sudden straightforward move that's a bit too fast. Right there. And then you got a bit of a right there. That up is a bit too abrupt. Bit slow it down. This is kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Just something at the end. That. The dragon goes over there. And does kind of like a corrective flap to kind of not go as far. But then it doesn't flap. But now suddenly it's really accelerating and turning there very quickly. Whoa, right there. It kind of takes that corner a bit too sharply and too quickly. <laughs> the human is cool. Alright, that's kind of it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.